Hi everyone, this video is just for anybody looking to download Homer 2. If you go to the Homer 2 website, it's homer-fnears.org. Uh, this is their homepage. If you click on download, you'll see a link to the NITRC site, which is the Neuroinformatics Tools and Resources Clearinghouse. So you go ahead and click on that, it'll take you to the actual download website. And in bright yellow here you see download now. This gets you the current version of Homer 2. Uh, it's pretty bug free and uh, if you do happen to find any bugs simply go back to the Homer 2 website and or even if they're not bugs if you just can't figure something out as always you have the forum you click here and it's a whole list you can search download if you're having any issues downloading you have a whole list of questions asked and many questions answered but back on this website uh, this will give you just about everything you need for Homer 2 uh, if you are looking kind of on the for a little bit more capability with Homer 2, there's the option of the source code here on the left. If you click this, it'll take you to this uh, page right here. Uh, it does require that you have an SVN, which I have a link right up here. I use the Tortoise SVN. Uh, it's download now, really basic installment. Uh, once you do have it, you go to your uh, folder here and you do have to create a, a folder. I created here Homer SVN. As you can see it's empty. If you right click on it you go down here and you see Tortoise SVN you see SVN Checkout. Uh, if you click SVN Checkout it'll ask for the URL of a repository. Right here you see mine's automatically already filled in but if you go if you don't have it filled in go back to the NRTRC website and you have the checkout uh, URL right here. Uh, if it does ask for username, you have the username is anonymous and password is also anonymous. Uh, the, the benefit to this, this is the developer's version. So the developer's version has more capabilities but may have a few more issues with bugs. Uh, people will be updating things regularly and occasionally you'll see what worked yesterday didn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily work now. And if you wait 10 more minutes it might work again. Uh, all it does here, I'll actually walk you through it. I actually already have my Homer 2 as an SVN, and you see a little red exclamation mark. That means that there's been an update that I have not actually updated. Uh, all the green means that the updates are up to date, we're good. If there's no icon here on each folder, these mean that these are actually not part of the SVN, they're separate. But if you do find yourself with a little red exclamation point, just follow the exclamation point, and you'll find yourself the file that's causing issues. Right click, and you can do SVN update, and it should fix it. Um, when you do download MATLAB, if it's not the developer's version, you will have to go into your downloads and unzip the file and, and put it where you'd like to use it. Uh, once you have it, open up MATLAB, uh, set the file path, and right now I'll go to my Homer 2 file path here, and you'll see these same, same little green buttons. That means it's all up to date. The blue squares mean that something's modified, so you can go in and kind of explore that a little. But you'll see all these files. Most of these are just helper functions set in uh, different files. Uh, the main one is the Homer 2 UI. That's actually the user interface. And it looks a little something like this. Bear with me. I am going to go to my sample data. And it says load processing option file. If you actually click cancel, which I'll do right now, it actually loads a default configuration file. Uh, that's con uh, I'll explain all that later, but that's essentially controlled in this options file here. This is just sample data, nothing too exciting, but this is what the actual Homer 2 interface looks like. So I'll go more in depth with this in a little, another video, but for basics, that's what gets you started up in it. Uh, the download that you did for Homer 2 also includes, under packages, the Atlas Viewer GUI, which is a 3D head model which will actually, it has two functions as for the developer's version. Uh, for the non-developer's version, only has one. But the main idea is that it gives you the sensitivity of your optode layout, so how good of a layout you had for your all your optodes on the head. Uh, you can either import this through a uh, third-party uh, digitizer, or you can actually input it manually through the Atlas Viewer. 
separately, if you get the developer's version, it does have the capability to actually show functional activity of the brain, which is actually what I've been trying to use it for. That is quite helpful and quite interesting, uh, but I haven't quite figured out everything involved in it, and I, I won't be making a, I will be making a video about that in the future, hopefully a little bit more in tune with what it does. Anyway, that that's everything you need to know about the actual download process. Uh, once you have it up and running, there are probably going to be a lot more questions that you have, and I'll try to put up more videos uh, answering those shortly. Thank you very much.